Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, LaunchBox 12.12 .12 has been released with some awesome new features, fixes, and improvements. When it comes to the new features of the 12.12 .12 release, we're definitely going to be taking a look at all of them in this video, but if you're interested in checking out the extra fixes and improvements, I will leave a link to the changelog in the description. And I would highly recommend checking that out because there have been a lot of improvements and fixes with 12.12. .12. And right off the bat, we're going to be starting with the bezel project. LaunchBox can now download bezels for MAME and RetroArch. You can do this while you're importing your games, or if you've already got your games imported, we can head over to the media download section and get these set up. Now, if you're not familiar with the bezel project, this is an awesome setup with bezels for MAME games and RetroArch. There's actually two different versions of these bezels we can set up with MAME or RetroArch. I'm going to show you both of them, but let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So the first method is downloading these bezels during import. So right now I've just went through and deleted my Sega Genesis section. I'm going to go ahead and re-import it. So we're going to import, ROM files. I'm going to add my folder. We'll just go through this process. Make sure it's set up with Genesis. And like I mentioned, this works with RetroArch and MAME. So there's a ton of different systems that this will support. And here it is. Let me go ahead and make this a bit larger so we can take a better look at it. So while importing RetroArch or main games, you'll now be greeted with a new section during the import. We can download bezels from the Bezel Project, and I've always been a big fan of the Bezel Project. Done a couple videos on it, but now it's integrated in the launch box and easier than ever to get set up. So there's two main bezel styles. We've got theme bezels and system bezels. Both are going to be game specific, but when it comes to the theme bezels, these are definitely my favorite. Unfortunately, not every single game is going to have one of these made for it, but it gives us kind of a full screen fan art bezel, which looks really good as long as the game's supported. And when it comes to the system bezels, it's going to show off the game's box, cart, and logo. So these also look really good, but I personally really love these theme bezels. So that's why we have this section right here. What do you want to download? System bezels which will be this one over here, and it's going to fall back to theme bezels if a system bezel isn't available. We can use the drop down here. You can prioritize theme bezels and it's going to fall back to the system bezels if a theme bezel isn't available. Only theme bezels, only system bezels. Personally, what I usually do, theme bezels and it's going to fall back to the system bezels. So I'm going to go ahead and choose next, get this import going. So as soon as this is finished, I'm going to have my Sega Genesis games imported. I personally like using the Pico Drive Core in RetroArch. And when I start up a game, you're going to see how beautiful these bezels look with RetroArch. Okay, so the import for the games is finished up. Now it's downloading the bezel pack for this specific system, which happens to be Sega Genesis. Give this a second to finish up. It's automatically going to have this ready to go as soon as we start a game. And there we have it. So now, when I head over to my Sega Genesis games, everything looks normal here, but when I start up a game, let's find something here. Let's go with uh, Alex Kid. This is going to start with RetroArch, because that's what I use to emulate these. And you'll notice that these games were originally made to run on a 4x3 aspect ratio screen. And most of the screens we use nowadays are 16 by 9 so you'll get those black borders on the side, and this is where bezels really come in handy if you're not using a widescreen hack. As you can see, we've got the bezels on the side, just giving us a little extra here with that 4x3 game playing right in the middle. We'll take a look at a couple more in the Sega Genesis section. Here's the Art of Fighting. We've got that Mega Drive logo over on the left-hand side. We've got some box art on the right. Same with Battletoads, but a lot of the most popular games will have kind of custom game bezels. Here's Sonic the Hedgehog, and as you can see, it's much different from those other ones. This is where those specific theme bezels come into play. And I do think that these look really good. And to tell you the truth, once you use the bezel project with MAME, you'll notice that there's a lot more specific bezels for MAME games. So it's easy enough to get these bezels downloaded when you're importing your games. It's now just a part of the import process. But if you've already got your games imported, we've also made that pretty easy. Arcade, for my main games, I want to download bezels for all of my arcade games. And this could take a while because there's a ton of games here. But I'm going to choose the very first one. I'm going to press Control A. That's going to select all of my games in this platform, which is going to be my arcade platform. I'm going to go to Tools. Update metadata and media for these selected games. 
It's going to give us a little walkthrough. And right now, I don't need to download any extra images. So when I get to my image section, I'm just going to check none. Same thing with EMU movies. And that'll bring us right over to the bezel project section. So again, we can choose from the theme bezels, fall back to system bezels, system bezels, and fall back to theme, and so on and so on. I'm going to go with the theme bezels. I'm going to choose the middle option here. I don't want to replace anything. And we'll just go ahead and let these finish downloading. And once they're finished up, we can go ahead and start a game. Let's go with 1942. It's going to start with MAME. And you see, we've got our really nice bezels. I personally think the ones that were made for MAME do look a lot better than the retro arch versions, but this definitely adds a lot to your collection with the bezel project integrated into LaunchBox. So yeah, now it's super simple to get bezels up and running with MAME and RetroArch and LaunchBox and BigBox. That's one of the new big features for 12.12, .12, but we've got another one here, and that's Image Packs. We can now create and import Image Packs directly from LaunchBox, and I'll give you an example here. So I've imported my Game Boy games, but I haven't downloaded any artwork. So what I'm going to do is download an Image Pack that was created by a user over on the forum. So we head to Downloads, Game Media, we can choose the platform over here. Mine's going to be Game Boy. And here's an image pack right here. So this was recently created by this user. I'm not going to try to butcher the name. But we can download it, and we can easily import this into LaunchBox. So with it downloaded, I'm going to head back to LaunchBox. We're going to go to Tools, Image Packs, Import, Next. I'm going to find that image pack I just downloaded. It's in my downloads folder. I'm going to choose the platform, which is going to be Nintendo Game Boy. Image type on this is the front box. And, and with region, you can leave this blank if nothing's assigned to that game pack. Choose next. It's going to parse that image pack for us. And there it is. We can preview the images in full screen. It'll give us a list of the image pack images that are in this pack here. I don't have games for. And games without images. But I'm going to go ahead and choose next. And since I don't have any images for my Game Boy, I can basically choose any of these here. Give it a second. It's going to populate those front box images for me from that image pack that was created by another user. Now, I've got my images for Game Boy. Looking really good. And obviously, I only did the front box, but you can go through and find, you know, 3D boxes and everything like that. In the near future, the community will create a ton of these packs. So instead of importing or downloading directly from within LaunchBox, you can just set up these image packs very easily. We can also easily create an image pack. Tools, Image Packs, Create. And from here, we can choose what we want to create. So from the platform, let's just go ahead and create a Nintendo 64 image pack. Image type, I'm just going to go with the front 3D boxes. Preferred region, I can leave this blank. And then I can choose where I want to export this to. I'm just going to go directly to my desktop. And when we create these image packs, each file is going to have the game name and the LaunchBox games database ID. This is really going to help out with matching up the images to a certain game when other users import your image packs. So from here, we can preview the images that we're going to export. We can delete images we don't want. And for the 3D boxes, I've actually got a few options here. As you can see, just really depends on what you already have imported. Personally, I like these with a little bit of glare to them. So we're going to choose Finish. And the image pack was successfully exported to my desktop. If I head over here, see we've got it. It's all zipped up. I'll just extract it so we can take a look real quick. But this can be uploaded to the forum so other people can use them. So we've got all of these 3D boxes now ready to go in this image pack we just exported. So this will make it really easy to get new images for your LaunchBox and Big Box games. You can just download those packs directly from the forum. 
So along with the new image pack features and the integration of the bezel project for LaunchBox 12.12, we've also made some improvements to the export to Android process. First up, you can now export games that have multiple discs. This was something that was kind of getting in the way with a lot of the awesome PS1 games, you know, trying to export those games with multiple discs to Android, but that's been fixed. The export process will now resize any overly large image to a maximum of 2000 by 2000. This was causing an issue with some devices having images larger than 2000 by 2000. So that's also been fixed with the export to Android process. And we've also added a couple more options. So if we head to tools, export to Android, I'm gonna export my whole collection. And from here, we have two new options. We can extract the archives, which does help out with loading on Android devices for some systems. And we have an option to only export our favorite games. So if you've gone through and favorited a bunch of games in a certain system, like let's say uh, Game Boy, it's only gonna export those games that you favorited. And we can also extract these archives before they're packed up for Android. So that's another new feature with 12.12. .12. It's more of an improvement, but it definitely helps out if you're using LaunchBox on Android. So yeah, we've got some really great stuff with 12.12 .12, and we definitely have more to come. So keep an eye on the channel and the forum. We really hope you love this new release. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. And like always, thanks for watching.